Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Frag News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick Vegas Golden Knights and Minnesota Wild Series preview. The second time doing this video since it got screwed up tech wise on the first one. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. We really appreciate it, and it really helps keep the channel going. This is going to be a very fun and interesting series because you have the potential Vezina winner in Mark Andre Fleury at 26 10 0 with a 1 9 8 and six shutouts right behind Varlamov for the league lead and a 9 2 8 save percentage going up against Cam Talbot. The veteran, uh, the 36-year-old Flurry potentially winning the Vezina, the 33-year-old Talbot, the veteran having potentially his best season, if not probably his second best season of his career, working really well in Everson's system now, 19-8-5, 2-6-3, and a 9-15 save percentage coming in with three shutouts, or two shutouts, excuse me, himself. So I think this game is going to be very tough for Vegas in this series to obviously come in. And have a quick, efficient series. I don't see this series even ending in five games. I think this series is going to go six games. But I think Kirill Kaprizov is going to continue to provide a lot of pressure. The key with uh, the Minnesota Wild, which has helped to make them a surprise team, is their first line that emerged. Marcus Foligno has been money all year. Joel Erickson Eck has finally uh, emerged and broke out. Same with Jordan Greenway has really emerged and fully broke out. Was already a good player. Same with Erickson Eck, but now they became what the Wild wanted them to become and are going to seem to keep ascending as time goes on. And then you have Hartman emerge as a center that allowed Rass, which you never thought he would be able to play consistent center. Everson's made him do that and actually has got him to do it well. But now Rass can be the third line center and then Nico Sturm falls into place at the fourth line. The only guy that the Wild brought in that really hasn't meshed well is Marcus Johansson. Minus him, they have Benino, uh, Bukestad, all these other guys have actually fit in really well with the team. And that's why they're going to be hard to reckon with because because of that, they have a really deep team. The difference is, though, Vegas is just absolutely ridiculous when it comes to how deep their team is and how ridiculous their team is. I mean, they're a plus 67 on the year in terms of differential. The Wild are good. They're a plus 21. But a plus 67, I mean, that's ridiculous. Uh, the Wild obviously also, uh, just like Vegas, um, have a pretty good um, defensive team, but they're nothing close to Vegas. Vegas, other than maybe Colorado, their counterpart in their division this year, is the best uh, team in this postseason. I mean, Colorado just won the President's Trophy because of uh, regulation wins the tiebreaker. They just got it over Vegas. But one of those two teams is definitely the best in this postseason and the deepest. So I think to say that Minnesota has a chance to beat them to be an upset, yeah, it's something that I even debated just because I have it going to six games and I think it's going to be a tough series for Vegas and I think they're going to win it in six games. I debated even throwing some cheddar on but then decided not to. But I think this is still going to go ultimately to Vegas because the best team, especially early on in the round, I think always finds a way to figure it out, particularly when they have the potential Vezina winning goaltender. Talbot's been good, but flurry has been on another stratosphere this year. He's having the best season of his career at the age of 36. And then you have Robin Leonard as a fallback option who actually has some more experience, is not a young rookie, where I love Capo Kocken and thinks he's going to be a very successful goaltender for years to come, but he's still a rookie with no playoff experience compared to... If if anything fails for Vegas, their fallback option is Leonard. So I also, for that realm, like that. But I don't think it'll come to that. I think Vegas is going to play a very good series, and you're going to see them come out and be the strong Vegas Golden Knight team. We know and love with William Carlson, Riley Smith, Marshall Salt, Stone, Chandler Stevenson, uh, no sick along as, as long as he's healthy, continuing to have very good years. I mean, the big thing with Vegas was at the deadline, I remember them saying this on NHL Network, we thought they would get a center. A lot of people thought they would get a center. I should say we, to be able to pair William Carlson. Well, a lot of players on Vegas said it's clear that Chandler Stevenson is a number one center. He has a plus 22 on the season because of how immensely good his two-way game is. And I think that is really the case, and we'll get to see that in the playoffs because the way he plays the game is perfect for the players because it's a great 200-foot game but also brings you offensive level uh, consistency as well. So it's going to be interesting to watch him in the playoffs. William Carlson is always an interesting player to watch. And then just Fool, I think, will probably end up being a game-time decision since he's listed as day-to-day -day one of those guys tucked just as a straight-line skater. You can really take advantage of someone um, maybe on the third line he's listed here where you're going up against Johansson matching uh, two right-wingers. So you might be able to take advantage of that matchup there if you're Alex Tuck. So I would definitely potentially uh, look for him to have a good series in this one. But I think this one will go six games. I think it'll be a very tough, hard-fought series for Vegas. And I think the 
Minnesota Wild are going to show their fans that they're definitely ready to be almost there. Well, this is the year they're going to really push. And then next year, I think, is the year that they're going to have a chance to win at least a playoff round and maybe even go farther than that. But it was definitely a great surprising season for the Minnesota Wild and their fans. And I think it's going to continue to be a very good series for them in this one. But they're going to end up losing just to the firepower and the overall intensity of the Golden Knights. They're the best team in the playoffs, the deepest team in the playoffs, second to probably Colorado. So I think that's just going to come back to be able to propel them over the top in this one over the Minnesota Wild in six games. I hope you all enjoyed this Vegas Golden Knights and Minnesota Wild series preview. Everyone have a great, safe, and pleasant day. And please subscribe here and at Steel Flyers and at Flyers Nitty Gritty as well. Peace out, everybody.